58th Orange Bowl Classic featuring unbeaten top ranked Miami against the Big A co-champion 11th rated Nebraska. 1992 opened in South Florida with a cloud burst. The rains for the moment have stopped and the enthusiasm builds toward the kickoff of a game with national championship implications. So despite the fact Miami plays in its home stadium, they are the visitors, so there won't be any of that smoke. Oh yeah, they did it anyway. <laughs> Even though Nebraska requested it not happen, here come the number one team. third year, 44-year-old Dennis Erickson. What a rare opportunity. This bright, young, offensive-minded coach with a chance at three years at Miami and two national titles. And now, the Cornhuskers from Lincoln, Nebraska. And there is Soto himself cheering his teammates onto the field. To Washington and a tie at Colorado, marring a perfect year for Nebraska. Kyle Osborne's 19th team, all 19, have won nine games or more and all 19 in a bowl game. Miami, who are so much faster than anyone they played against, even on their kickoff coverage, a case like this, being setting up to make a block and the man running right past you before you're there to take care of it. And this 1992 Orange Bowl underway and Wirtz are roosted into the end zone to Hughes, going to take it out. And he stops at the 11-yard line. This is Keith and McCann, the fifth-year senior from Grand Prairie, Texas. His offensive line weighing nearly 300 pounds. Lundberg, Weger, Scott, Shields, and Borboom with him in the backfield. Lance Lewis, that fullback, Gary Brown, over 1,300 yards rushing this year. Turner and Bostic, the wide receivers, William Washington, the tight end. From deep in their own end, it is Gary Brown straight ahead for four yards and corralled by a quartet of hurricane tackles. The Miami defenders, Patrick Hamlet, Miller, Medeiros is a sophomore, had 10 sacks to lead the team. The linebackers, they run like wide receivers. Darren Smith, Michael Barrow, Jesse Armstead, lightning quick, James and McNeil at the corners, Farms and All-America, Daryl Williams, number 27, a clip. And brought down Anthony Hamlet from Delray Beach. As his second sack of the year, and Washington apparently is trying to maintain its uh, bragging rights as they're well ahead of Michigan in the Rose Bowl. And Derek Brown straight ahead to the 14, and that'll bring the punting team on and in the nation this year. Williams lets it land. And set by Nebraska. That's a great tradition of quarterback that this institution has Cersei, Barber, Harris, Jones, and Cristobal in the offensive front. Larry Jones, the big young fullback. Spencer, Thomas, Copeland, and Bell, they all run like the wind. Only Jones lined up behind the quarterback. From midfield, and it is Jones. And the 235 pound freshman. Raymakers, Engelbert, and Perell in the three man defensive line. Hill, Petko, Anderson, and White are the linebackers. And the pressure will fall on these four trying to cover much man to man. Cotton and Leggett at the corners, Carmer and Bird at safety. Now, this is the spread formation without a back behind the center. Five fast people able to go straight down the field. Second and five, and Coretta all alone is Williams. And he was out of bounds. No catch. A sure touchdown. But the ball floated wide, and Williams was out of bounds. Oh, they're going to call it a catch. High-powered Miami. They don't take long to score, and we'll uh, document that in a moment. First and goal of the nine. Jones. Hit after maybe a gain of a yard. Four people spread outside. No tailback. Second and goal. Fumble by Coretta. Picks it up. Throws it. Lamar Thomas. No, now they say out, out bounds and third and goal. They're going to 
split. Coretta. of the teams, Williams, the sophomore from Dallas, Texas, crossed the field with all that room to move. Huerta, who holds the NCAA record for consecutive extra points, 157 broken this year, adds the extra point. It took them one minute and 42 seconds, seven nothing, Miami. Kind of personnel to practice again. Who does? Where to again, it's a deep to Tyrone Hughes at the goal line. Hughes with its three breaking tackles and out to the 31 yard line. I couldn't cope with his feet. So keeping McCann in Nebraska starts from the 31. McCann's going to throw. And throws it to over the Miami bench. No one open. The Arlington, Texas area handing off and Lance Lewis the fullback. You see the point of attack quicker than the blockers are. McCamp off the chest of Bostic. He catches it, but it'll be shy of the first down. In fact, he haven't seen it in reality. A high floater. Williams going to let it uh, bounce, and it takes a Nebraska roll. Might have hit a Husker player, though field at the 34-yard line of Ovino and Miami trying to take that measure as they go for their 12th straight of this season. And often slipping and sliding. So they're never really a major factor in the game. And this is it. Loretto to the sidelines and caught by Copeland. Horace Copeland, who had 31 grabs, all leap well. Three different receivers at 6 3. Now there's a play change, and Gino you know, Toretta has become expert at this. Hand off to Jones, and he has the first down out to the 47 yard line. Well, that is clarified. He's not eligible to play, so Jones, the first for their freshman, 235, and he gets the ball again. He's to the 49 yard line at five receivers. And a tight end on the right side. In this case, the three safety deep in the middle isn't going to be of much help because there's so many receivers. Toretta to Thomas. Look at that leaping catch by Thomas. Oh, my. That's an all-state basketball player as well and played in four games with a huge basketball team last year. Well, he really rebounded that one. And finally, the ball hit. Jones feeling his way, and there are plenty of red shirts there to stop him. Third down and 10 from the Husker 12-yard line. Beretta underneath, and Jones is hit immediately by Ernie Beeler. Now, Nebraska having to spend a timeout, too many men on the field, and now Huerta, 24-yard attempt, Joe Moore, a tight end to hold. And he drills it. 10 nothing hurricane. Well, in a sense, Nebraska had a minor victory there. Dennis Erickson's team on an early course to victory. And to Hughes. Where it does kick spinning deep, and this one will go out of the end zone. Miami will try to match that effort against Nebraska as McCann trouble with a lateral, and Miami covers it at the 15-yard line. No touchdown. Miami's ball at the 15. So a gift opportunity for Miami, and Coretta goes to work. And nailed by Mike Petko, the senior linebacker for the Huskers. Lamar Thomas downfield. This great agility. Jones plowing inside the five, and that'll be first and goal, Miami. Miami goes to two tight ends, Coleman Bell and Joe Moore book in. With Thomas wide left, Copeland puts the right side. Coretta to Thomas, and he was checked at the line of scrimmage incomplete. Good job by Tyrone Leggett. Different kinds of business. They have the speedy Kevin Williams to the right. You give to Jones running left. And Larry Jones is bumped out of bounds around the two-yard line. Maybe Miami and Jason Marucci joins Jones in the backfield behind Coretta on third and goal outside the one. Changing the play again. 
And may have run out of time as flags go down and Jones is right to the goal line. He's up to field and throw the ball. Ball start. Offense. Repeat third down. Three receivers. With Kevin Williams to the near side. There's another flag and the throw is knocked away and almost intercepted but pulled out of there. That again is unfortunate for, uh, well, they can pick like the first field goal will be, well, a little closer, in fact. 24-yard attempt. First was good from 27. Tough angle, but Werka is right on target. And in less than 11 minutes, Miami's lead is built to 13. Was talking to you, Cortez Kennedy and Jerome Brown were there as well, giving you encouragement. Huerta to Tyrone Hughes, who will kneel down and take the touch back at out of the eye. And it's the tailback, Derek Brown, met after a one yard game. McCant shouting his play team. Got some time. Anyone open? No one is open. Finally along the sidelines and obscured by the Miami bench. What's the call there? It goes to Dan Pleasant. And the crowd recognizing his problems. Just hike it up another few levels. And that can't walk from behind. You just can't outrun this defense. They are so quick. And that's Rusty Medeiros. Diggy under some pressure. And it's Kevin Williams. And he'll put pressure on the defense. They're able to corral him, Nate Turner. And clipping it is. This is the worst field position for the Hurricanes starting a drive at their own 30. Leading 13-0, 2-19 left in the first quarter. Toretta with all kinds of time, but is what's going on. His brother, Chet Toretta, with the backup to Chet Verde here in Miami. Here's Williams with a blocker. One man to beat, no one's gonna catch him. On first down, good play good action. Play Toretta going for six, but Copeland not quite fast enough to get that one. He can't even conceive of that. He moves Marucci up. Toretta throwing off balance, but right on the target to Lamar Thomas. And look at that move. Thomas! Oh my, finally the ball. <laughs> Apparently stepped out of bounds at the seven yard line. Though. Enough fast people Less than on the roster. Offense. 15 yard penalty to the biggest spot. Loss of down. Third down. Here's where Nebraska needs some pressure on third and 25. Greta sends out five receivers and he goes up on top again. And it's too long for Thomas. A little bump and the Miami fans wanted a penalty. It's kind of challenge. Holding. Holding. To run it. Offense. Penalty's declined. Down. Williams says, uh, well, I was just coming off football practice. I got him later. Off the side of the foot is a punt by Paul Snyder, and that's one of the few things that have not gone right. Put down the short punt, 17 yards, starts at its 38-yard line. The toss to Derrick Brown. Caught from behind by Darren Smith, and I, where those safeties can't take those angles. No game. Here's the option. 10. McCann trips over his own man. Number 61, Eric Wiegert. And that is the end of the first quarter here at the Orange Bowl in Miami. And the noise is for 
the Hurricanes. They lead impressively. Super team Miami with an early 13-0 lead. It's third down 12, Nebraska, at its own 36 as we open the second. Ethan McCann throwing long for Bostic, but too long. Colorado. Beautiful kick by Siggy as Kevin Williams retreats to the 18. Look at him get through Look that out. swarm of red and finally tackled at the 25-yard line. Behind the center, he has been there less often, I put it that way. Beretta with some pressure and he gets it off. Coleman Bell and Bell the tight end, uh, almost a safety valve. The NFL. He's a junior, 6'3 and 205, same year he play. He's graduated from college already. He's going to be in graduate school next semester. Harry Jones has the first down and is knocked out of bounds at the 41 of Miami. But from just across the Miami 40 on first down. Beretta, look at that gun. Wow. Lamar Thomas, first down, Nebraska 48. Miami leads 13 up in early second quarter. First down into Nebraska 48. Delay goes to Manucci. Jason Marucci is uh, tackled at the 49. That Nebraska defense is spread all over the field. Beretta, it's Kevin Williams. Oh, okay. and Stewart from behind, number 32, makes the tackle. Of and he squats 430 pounds. He's very strong, although only 5'9 in height. Here's Jones flying up the middle to the 20-yard line. Another Miami first down. The first half, 60 yards already. First down, Beretta. Intercepted by Tyrone Leggett right on the goal line. This is going to be a testy call. Where will they mark it? Almost a safety for Miami. So the Huskers start from the one-yard line against this Miami defense that has not given up a first down in this game. And just squeaking out of the end zone is Derrick Brown. Ethan McCant in crowded condition. And up the middle goes Lance Lewis. Those are speeds that you don't see a defensive back. The throw to Bostic off mark, and Nebraska has to punt again. Siggy back into the end zone and gets a high boomer away. A terrific kick. Kevin Williams to the 49-yard line, and good coverage by Nebraska. They stop him right there. But boy, do they get scrutinized there. 13-0 Miami goes to work from the Nebraska 49. And the quick cross to the quickest man, Kevin Williams. Is That's a tough call for a coach, but I sure wish he'd have gone for the extra point. Here comes Larry Jones. And he has nearly nine yards, or 9.27 left before halftime. Michigan has been defeated by unbeaten Washington, and here Miami leads 13 to nothing over Nebraska. On second and a yard, Ferretta looking for Daryl Spencer. He's got him, but was he inbound? No. Third and short. Jones fumbles, and it goes right to a fellow Hurricane, Daryl Spencer. Oh, my. Here's that reverse. Kevin Williams, and he's got the blocker again. And a good tackle made by Tyrone Bird. Up Leon Searcy, the left tackle. Offense. Justin Young. Follow the foul. Repeat first down. Of the football team. Says very little, but he's the guy that sets the standard for the rest of the players. First down, 27. Coretta over the middle to Marucci, and he is inside the 30-yard line. But the Ains has already faded on the other side. Coretta under pressure, and he throws it into an open space, but no play. There goes the flag. There's the only player near the ball, and there's the call. Last year, I've met some of their players. Terrific guys, but this is where Nebraska's drawing its athletes. Third and 33, and a long throw, and uh, Lamar Thomas and Tyrone Leggett in a circumvents everybody. It's again a Thomas. People. So uh, Thomas Snyder. It's a floater. Corey Dixon for Nebraska. And even with his speed, no chance. Smothered by the special team. Nebraska shut out from that first down column. 
Starts from the 20. Calvin Jones, the freshman, a new tailback, eye back in the linebacker position. Yeah, Smith says he can uh, carry 235 with that speed. McKeithen, Keithen uh, hits his tight end, Johnny Mitchell, number 86, yeah. coming into the night game. So he's going to have to be a factor at some point. Third and short, the fullback, Lance Lewis, has the first down. Well, at this point, they haven't gotten anything established. And it's hard to believe the number one rushing team in college football can't do that. Calvin Jones. He's from Omaha, went to the same high school as the great Gale Fair. High school, and really Nebraska's the only team that stayed with him. A lot of teams stopped recruiting him. Jones again running over his own blockers to the 40-yard line. Rather than have to stop and begin to dodge people as they get to the line of scrimmage. Here's the option, pass. And Mitchell is open downfield and got it. Beautiful. First down at the Miami 28-yard line. Whoop. And that brings some of this Orange Bowl crowd to its feet. McCann throws it away as Calvin Jones kind of ran into the flat and stuck. If it's uh, called to, I can do it tonight. He'll have his chance. Calvin Jones on a delay. And shows some power there as he drives to the 22-yard line. Third down, a long three. Jones. Just too fast on defense. Where you typically call the option. Well, they ran out of time, and there's the delay of game penalty. Byron Bennett, the field goal kicker, with Siggy holding. This will be a 43-yard attempt. His longest 47 this year. Plenty of leg, but wide to the left, no good. tonight with two and a half minutes left before the intermission. 13 nothing Hurricanes and Ferretta goes to work. To the sidelines and Thomas. And he juggles and drops. Larry Jones, the only running back. And it's Jones with a call off tackle. Speed. Breaking tackle. And appears to have the first down out of the... Just the inertia of the, of the run. Same formation with trips to the left. Ferretta under some pressure and and it's through the hands of Horace Copeland. First 11 Huskers in sacks this year with seven. Second and 10. This screen. And Jones couldn't get there. 154 left in that. Now we had a movement on the left side. Dead ball. False start. Offense. Well, if they can get out of here. He has the speed to cover. But against this Miami uh, offense, Look That's out. Really throwing yeah. him in the boiler. Ferretta. Gets to the sidelines, but no first down. Up. Speed in that secondary this week. Californian Paul Snyder. It's a good punt. Corey Dixon calls for the fair catch at the 20-yard line. 13 nothing here with 138 left. Keith and McCann setting up at the 20. And Calvin Jones, the freshman, picked up at the 22. Point, as we pointed out, a lot of it's the high school programs uh, throughout the state. Take to Jones, the throw to the tight end, and that's William Washington, number 89, who caught only one pass all pass year. Away. Now this is the auction formation. Nate Turner, the wing back in motion, and the give is to the fullback, Lance Lewis, who is close to the first down. Got downfield. There it is. Hit from the back side, and it's Rusty Medeiros in the Ozarks from the Ozarks, a small town, 2400 to Miami, Florida. Deep downfield oh, and overthrowing John Bostic. Miami scored the first three possessions, a touchdown and two field goals, but since four possessions without any points. And again, no chance for McCann. Rusty Medeiros, his third sack of the first half. This 58th Orange Bowl Festival, it's the Miami Hurricanes 13, Nebraska nothing. Now to New York and Gail Gardner. But at this point, uh, Nebraska just doesn't have anything put together offensively to stay in the game. All right, the current team get the ball first, and Kevin Williams showing his leg power, breaks a tackle. And is finally dragged down by number 43, Shane Geichen. 
Anderson, the linebacker right up on the line of scrimmage, and then backs off as Larry Jones gets the first carry and lands out to the 38-yard line. Answer. Offensively. Jones again. He has 86 yards rushing in the game. Now over 90 as he has a first down at the 45-yard line. 14 nothing Miami as we open this second half. On first down, Toretta, good play action fake and almost intercepted by Tyrone Bird. Going into this game and he's going to have to make a few more on the first. Throw by Toretta, the wide open Kevin Williams. You have to treat him with so much respect. And he still dances inside the Nebraska 40. A few yards attack, you are dynamite. Same, so the same play to Daryl Spencer. And Spencer has another first down, working on Leggett. Justin Jr., Toretta, and all his receivers, significant receivers, are all back as well. Same play. Tyrone Hughes. Can't corral Williams, and Williams another first down inside the 15. Raises their hands and tries to block that ball back toward the quarterback. Little misdirection, and it's Jones up the middle. And the freshman is to the six-yard line, a gain of eight more. Second and two, Jones to the goal line. Touch. Nope, they started up and then pulled down the hands at the one-foot line. The timing. He scored three touchdowns in the regular season, and he figures to get the shot. Oh, a fumble by Toretta. Did he fall on it? Taking the snap from center, it appears that uh, he is under the quarterback. Well, believe it or not, at this point... And Jones, he's earned it. its lead to 19 nothing. Not have anything you can go to that can count on. It's a long, long football. Where it's a knuckleball. And Turner lets it go into the end zone and touches it down for the touchback. 12.30 kickoff, 12 noon for NFL Live. much like those we saw in the first half. They may not have the quickness it takes to play a team like Miami. McCamp. Almost intercepted by Barrow, the linebacker. Third and a tough eight. McCamp to Mitchell, the tight end. And indeed, he is their top receiver out to the 40-yard line and a first down. Effective at this point. Turner in motion. The option. McCamp. Met after about a four yard pickup. On second down and six. Down he goes again. Medeiros has another sack. Oh, is he quick around that corner? He said he wants to be a professional player, and that's why he selected Miami. I can't have some time. Oh, gee. And no, I really think that uh, Keevan uh, should be willing to run. the 35, a gain of 10 more. If I hadn't done that, everything would have been perfect. He was <laughs> dropping back well. In break, the other brother played uh, wide receiver for Cal They all played football. The back 
Jeff Marucci, and a flag goes down. Get anything to him. Holding. Holding. Offense. Ten yard foul from the foul to foul. Repeat third down. They're so similar in appearance, all four brothers. Bright guys, sharp guys. Third down, 11. Daryl Spencer. Off the side of his foot, there's going to be a good roll. And well covered. Now Nebraska will start at the seven-yard line. Where number one Miami leads 19-0 late in the third. And Nebraska starts from its seven-yard line. And to get inside to Lance Lewis, the fullback. Larry Jones has 125 alone for Miami. McCamp. Go ahead and run. Caught from behind. It's Madaris again. He's having a feast. To slow him down somewhat. Really in a hole now. McCamp throwing along the sidelines. And Dixon not even close to the ball. And under the circumstances, a good kick to the 37. And Kevin Williams by an ankle down at the 37-yard line. My God. He gets uh, totally cut down by the high-speed defense of Miami tonight. Coretta under the rush and gets it to Thomas and it's in and out of his hands. Holding. Holding. Offense. 10-yard Ten foul from his foul to foul. Repeat first down. Lost the first two to his dad. He won the next four. They played each other twice a year. Then in coaching, he was uh, in, in competition with his dad. The pressure again. A catch. No. Out of bounds this time was Williams. As he... People like uh, Jack Elway and Jim Sweeney. Yeah. Uh, second and 25 underneath the Williams. Got away from Hughes, and Hughes came back to make the tackle. Those, uh, some of those programs didn't have a reputation of being a big winner, and he made them. Washington State the ticket over the one nine years. Second year there, taking the losing team. Coretta goes down, and uh, that will be a sack for Nebraska. 54-yard attempt by Huerta. If he makes it, it'll be his longest in his brilliant career at Miami. 52, the previous high. He's got the distance. Saw something. I know this. If I were at that blackboard, I couldn't help him. I saw that. Fake to Williams and Toretta to throw. And it's almost intercepted in the arms of Curtis Cotton, but he drops it. And he's outside, sort of fair game. He throws the ball. Oh, then he's hit. Now, that's, see, that's the kind of thing I believe the, the, the uh, referee should step in on. He intercepted. They like him a lot. He uh, reminds Miami players and coaches of uh, Vinny Testaverde, not only in size and ability, but his looks. Hands off inside to Larry Jones. 
Bridge is stacked up, John. That's the end of three at the Orange Bowl. We deserve a a number one ranking. Maybe that's how it all worked out. Third and 12. And Freda back in, and it's intercepted by Tyrone Leggett, and he's twisted down at the 45 by Lamar Thomas in Nebraska now. There's got to be something they can reach and get. They're in an unbalanced line to the left. Calvin Jones, the eye back. Boy, in the Osborne era with I am hip. Second down, the throw. Intercepted. And this is Curly Brown. One man to beat McCamp. And he saves the touchdown. Face mask against Nebraska. So of course, the big eight and the big ten. They're staying home to play at Florida State and Florida and Miami now. Give to Jones, caught from the back side on a good play by Trev Alp. 13 and a half minutes left in the fourth, 22 up in the score. Loretta for Lamar Thomas, or is that, oh, uh, that was uh, Copeland. Columbia, South Carolina. Played well in the toughest of circumstances. A lot of it just man covered. Underneath, and four. They're a great football team, but. But from the standpoint of uh, playing great football, it just is one of those nights. Where's the... Uh, another. And it's no, oh, no, he just missed it. 13, 12 to from go. a tough angle. This is a short one there, 29 yards. Nebraska with 13 minutes left. Can they deny the shutout? Calvin Jones gets a couple. Armstead and Bryant. There's the option pass. Complete to uh, Nate Turner. Keep that uh, run going, uh, at least scoring something. Okay. Well, let's knock the run and finally throws it away. In the car, it was certainly a superior team to Nebraska. A draw to Calvin Jones and right there. And there may have been a fumble, and Miami says they have. And the problem should be corrected shortly. Well, when you look at it, it's just, it's just total dominance of uh, not only offensively, but I think surprising to Nebraska that Miami, uh, their defense is just totally shut down Nebraska's running game. Receivers, now I'm, I'm not taking anything away from the quarterback, Toretta, but watch when he sets up, he knows that he has receivers all over the field. More than one's going to be open. But the nice thing I like about it, take a look at this play here, where go. he runs out of trouble. He's the Hurricanes, Carlos Huerta. Uh, two field goals, one for 24 yards, another for 24 yards. That made it 13-0. Miami scored. Uh, I can guarantee you that, that uh, this game would be somewhere near the 50s. There have been a lot of... Uh... There are about nine minutes left in the game, actually. 8.56 left in the game. And the Huskers with the ball. That's Mickey Joseph at quarterback. And Joseph back to pass. That's the way back country. We, at least we didn't see one. And Joseph again. And the last thing Tom Osborne wanted to be was shut out in the Orange Bowl. There's no doubt about, about that. Well, there's, you know, there's just no question about that. They like to put some points on the board. I think and, that, and obviously would have to go for two. Get him back in the ball game now. We, minutes left to go. Well, eight twelve. Fumble. And uh, Miami recovers. The fumble. So Miami again with the ball. In the last two meetings against Miami, and if this continues this way, uh, that is not a good sign. Should have a split championship, and I think that's probably what we will say. Well, we got 7:25 or so left in the in the Sugar Around Bowl the game. Around the left side. Uh -oh. 
for your power failure. That's all you've been able to watch. We thank you for your patience. Keno Toretta, the Miami quarterback, guiding his Hurricanes 22-0 with five and a half minutes left in this the final quarter. And that's Jason Marucci, the backup fullback. We're just hammering for four and five yards of the shot. Here we go again. Marucci again off tackle and slashing in. The sensitivity. On third and two, and it's the fullback Marucci greeted by half the Nebraska defense. Self-destructed by penalty, but the defense is most impressive. Jones back in there, and on fourth down, he has the first down at the Nebraska 41-yard line. The rankings are the Florida team. Down and give to Marucci. And the young man from Youngstown, Ohio. backfield Marucci as Dumas a freshman. But both schools would get a trophy like this. Back to you, Dick. Thank you, Doc. Coretta. Comes to Lamar Thomas. His practice without it really being an organized practice. He get a lot of work done. Fourth and four, Larry Jones back in there and he bowls close to the 30-yard line. This Orange Bowl 1992 and Marucci into the middle to the 26th. We are going to go quickly at the final gun uh, for a break and there's uh, Erickson. <laughs> Ice water bath, but uh, and uh, their band can justifiably cry for their share of number one. It's Fred and Neil's down and that'll do it. They celebrate in my...